hello gems welcome welcome back all right so let's see what's going on with you and your person good morning you guys well it should be afternoon by this video get up um on the internet but happy day happy day it's really clouded where i am but i hope it's sunny where you are you guys um let's just dive into it i don't know how much videos you're gonna get today um i'm gonna try to do three for sure so let's see what we have for you today when it comes to your relationship when it comes to your person that you're thinking about and the person that's thinking about you if it does resonate for those of you that are new to the channel go ahead and thumbs up the video show your love and support and if it doesn't resonate you guys i will have your playlist linked below in the description box as always so gems let's see what we have here from your highest divine your highest source of power which is your lord and savior let's see what energy that they want to like share with us today all right so this is a general not a personal read so it's not going to resonate for every gemini's out there and it's not going to resonate for those of you who are returning all the time okay all right so let's get into it for gemini's please energy when it comes to love Ooh. so let's see what we have here wow there's a few messages that actually came through I'm seeing a lot of anxiety, okay, that's coming through here. Ooh, this person is guarded, you guys. You have a Capricorn energy. You're being pushed out. This is what I'm seeing here. Like, you're trying to ask questions, and you're just trying to do the best that you can. You want this person to know that you were there for them, but they're not giving you the same attention or the same feedback. It's like you're doing everything in your power, Look at how you're holding up all this responsibility that is not even yours to carry or yours to bear, but yet you're trying to hold up, you know, this foundation, whether it is the history of this relationship or it's the situation within the relationship, you know, like the, the goals that you guys got um, are planned for each other or you know, the, the foundation that you're trying to build here. Um, you're trying to make something stay, you know, burning. You're trying to get all of these wooden wands and make sure the fire keeps going and you feel like something is going to happen something is going to come towards you and mess up everything that you know you, you and this person have built together there is other people that is involved in this situation as well that i'm seeing with the seven of wands here and i feel like your person is being really guarded like i said before um i'm feeling again this is the same person that has a lot of anxiety like they have something to tell you, something to share, and they're afraid. They're afraid of what you might think. They're afraid of how you're going to react. They're afraid that you're going to be mad at them. They're afraid that they're going to lose you. All of this is coming into play. So what they do best here is to lie and, you know, deny. You know, this is what I'm seeing. Deny, 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 deny until the end of time. And I feel like, you know, they're also trying to play some kind of manipulation technique where they might just be like, oh, your friends are out to get me. Your family is out to get me. They're lying. I didn't do this. I wasn't there. I don't know what you're talking about. It's all in your head kind of vibe, you know, in the devil. You know, they feel like um, everything that they have or the people that is in their lives, they never stay. This is what I'm seeing with this devil energy. It's like they lost everything anyway. They feel like, you know, really, this person is really having struggles with self-esteem, self. And, you know, they don't have anything against you. This is what I'm hearing. And I just want to make that perfectly clear. Because within all of this energy, sometimes you can think like you're not doing enough for this person or this relationship. But it has nothing to do with you as what you're doing for the relationship and, and how you are reacting towards this person it's just them it's them is who they are is what they've been through and it's like they're trying to figure things out um with what they have but i feel like this person is so secretive like they're so embarrassed to the point of how they were, were what they're upbringing the things that they have been through this is what i'm feeling and it's hard to just share this with you um 
I feel like everything, like this person, like trying to go up these stairs, right? And trying to make some kind of effort and trying to be successful and everything that they do is like a step back. They feel like really like everything has been taken from them and they don't know why. But it's their energy too. And I, you know, this person needs to definitely forgive themselves for what they can control as a child. Um, this person could have been sexually abused or even raped. Some kind of power that was taken from them. They couldn't defend themselves here. Man or woman, it could be, you know, masculine, feminine energy. It doesn't even matter when it comes to sex. Um, but I feel like this person is making it very hard for you as someone that really just want to be successful in the hermit. And I feel like this is a challenge for you. Like this person is making this really just a challenge. And it's making like you forget your value of yourself or, and who you truly are coming into this relationship. I'm also seeing the Ten of Wands like I see. Like you're trying to hold up. You're trying to hold on to this, you know. You're checked out basically. You're, you're overwhelmed. You're done. You're burnt out. You're tired. Um, with the Ten of Wands here, you're ready to start over, but you're just not, it's like you're still physically holding up all of this, even though you're saying that this person abandoned you or you, this person made you feel like very lonely within this world. Like again, feeling very alone, like whatever, um, offer you give this person, it's like they throw it back into your face. You're ready to move on here. But after all of this, it's like you're definitely going to need to recover from all of this. This is what I'm seeing here. It's definitely like your self-esteem is just thrown out the door. Like this person did you did a toll on you, you know, and then your love is still there. You know, you have this form of energy where you just want to protect this person in the Ten of Wands. It's like you're still protecting them by holding up and trying to make this house look you know good on the outside but on the inside there's no communication here i feel like this person is quite manipulative and i'm also feeling like very cold energy it's like i'm seeing you walk around tippy toe like you're just like trying to avoid this person and not trying to avoid them as a person but the argument the conflict the toxic environment within the devil this person just is very you feel like this person is very argumentative like they just pick on you for no apparent reason and you just want to know why you want some kind of clarity but i'm seeing that the angels are not sleeping and this is why i feel like who this person i it's like they're gonna need help and it's not from you but from themselves like i feel like this person is going to need to see someone be a specialist to try to heal because they're making it they're making their lives even worse by treating you the way that they do and the angels are watching this and it's like gosh when are you going to learn what's, what's going on here you know kind of vibe tell me more all right Ooh, emperor and upright Aries energy we have a couple of energies here, like main energies, Aries, we have Virgo, we have Capricorn, we have Aries and Scorpio here. Again, um, we have the death in Scorpio, so take that as it resonates, you guys. But I'm feeling like there is this, like, this tower situation that needed to happen because um, I'm seeing like this person like, okay, yeah, this needed to happen. I need to get back to my person. You know, I feel like there's going to be um, a transition an ending between you and this person. And you're going to be ready to move on, um, Gemini's, okay? Um, with this with this energy being here in Scorpio. Like, you're just like not holding on to this this transition, you know, this ending here. You're, you're actually letting it happen, you know? And I feel like because you're letting it happen, this person, the energies are flowing so this person can actually learn and understand what happened here and then see if this is something that they want to go back to. Okay, so tell me more. 
I feel like they're going to want to come back, but it's like you are trying to focus on, wow, look at this apology. Awesome. So I feel like this person is going to be taking it slow towards you. And they're trying to come back into your life. I feel like, yeah, they want another chance, but they're very prideful too. So ego, a lot of ego here. Okay. Yeah, see, they want a future with you. The two, well, the four of wands, the 11-11 showing up here. Definitely this person is seeing you as the future, seeing you as a powerful person, a provider. This is what they're saying, that you're a provider. You want everything to be stable. I feel like you're a hard worker. This is how they're looking at you. You're moving forward in your life, even though this thing ended badly. And I feel like... Oh my God, they're pointing out the fact in the Six of Swords that you were moving on and permanently trying to do this. But this is, wasn't a move that you wanted to happen. This is what I'm seeing here. It's like you guys grew out. It's like I'm seeing differences here. This is why you wanted different things. This person wasn't on the same page as you anymore. Like for some of you just grew out of, you know, this connection. All right. And now you're trying to make a peaceful decision. But you're still in your head about things, I feel like. Yeah, the offer is in reverse. So I feel like this person is afraid, but still are gonna, is going to try. I feel like they're coming off very um, dramatic. <laughs> very dramatic energy, you guys. This is what this person is, is saying here. This energy, very dramatic energy but they're still going to put in this appeal, you know, to see if you could, you know, want to eventually try again with them. But I feel like you're recovering from this um, three of swords here. You were dealing with someone that was very difficult to communicate with. And you're saying that a lot of you have ch a child for this person or this person appeared to be an empress in reverse everything that you ever wanted. But when you got too close, and, you know, some of you were a little bit too late because, you know, you could have a child with someone that you just don't see a future with anymore, you know, but you're kind of like, you're kind of like stuck with this person's energy. Um, it's like you're looking at this like a bad investment, like this was a bad choice, a bad decision that was made for, for, for this for you and this person Virgo energy, by the way, again. And then I'm seeing the, the world here. So you're just like, wow, this person came in and the way you guys met felt great. It felt great. It was like it will almost been faded, but it was a lie. You know, it was a lie. This is what you're seeing. Like every, even the up, up until the time that you guys, your first kiss and it's just everything wasn't as beautiful as you're looking back on it now. You're just realizing that this wasn't a faded um, situation here. You regret everything that happened with you and this energy. It's like the bad is over, well, over viewing everything that actually happened that was good here. There's going to be an apology from this person about them staying away for too long. For some of you, this person could have cheated on you as well with someone with the three of wands being here. And also I'm seeing like this person still wants this amazing ending with you. You know, they want an amazing ending with you. So <laughs> let's see what the advice is when it comes to the universe okay for gemini's let go of the ego so some of you could be the ones holding on and not trying to communicate with this person right now i see the queen of swords here so i know there's no communication because you're just not ready for it i feel like a lot of you gave this person a lot of time to come through with that but you know they just really hurt you to the point of no return but this person still have something to tell you. I feel like they want to tell you the truth, but they're going to... It's like you're going to see them in a different light. But the angels are also coming up as trust your intuition because they've been talking to you. Your divine, your highest power, your Lord. It's like you've been praying and you've been asking questions like why, why me, why this, why that. Why this is happening. And they've been telling you through dreams, through visions... They've been placing this the answers in your heart and you're not listening. So they're like, listen to your intuition. Oh, 
Then we have choose love over fear. So why am I getting this card? Hmm. I, the, the, as soon as I touched it, I actually knew why. All right. So there's a lot of things going on here. But like I said, a lot of you are still holding on to this person. And, and most likely it's because you love this person, right? You love this person even though they're not... Um, and they care about you too, you know, they care about you, but they don't know how to show it or express it. But you're going to get a huge apology. But I feel like your guide is saying, like, choose love over fear because there's so many things going on here and so many people that are involved, like I said before, that is trying to make it look like you need to leave this person. If you're not ready to leave, then you're just not ready to leave. And whatever you're going to decide, no matter what it is, make sure you're choosing love. Even if you're deciding to leave, make sure it's because you love yourself more in this situation. You love this person too. And you're like, I'm not good for you. You're not good for me. And we just need to separate. We need to go our ways. But if you're going to leave because you're afraid that this person is going to hurt you again, remember you're here to to, to learn you're here to experience this emotion whatever even if it's a bad emotion you're here to experience so don't run away in fear because what's going to happen is going to come back around with someone else if this is something the universe wants you to experience so make sure you're choosing love all the way through you guys within your life um whatever you're doing whatever you're you know whatever you're doing in life if, even if it's a job make sure that it is something that you like to wake up every day to go to okay because you don't have we don't have a long time on this earth you know everyone has value even this person even that they did so many things to you but they still have value okay um i'm here and follow your intuition but i'm also seeing follow the golden rule here So do things the right way. Don't cut people off. This is what I'm hearing. Don't go back for karmic um, vengeance. And just know that karma is it's a, a, it's a very easy thing to twist and turn. And it could apply to anyone, even if you didn't cheat first. You know what I mean? So be careful how you react. That's what I'm seeing here. Universe the energy never judge another so a lot of people are talking like you can't, I can't believe they did this I can't believe they did that I can't believe it they're saying avoid the the gossip avoid what people are saying avoid the hype that's what I'm feeling like someone is in your circle just to hype you up so you can make decisions that are not quite right and it's going to make everything worse okay know your truth and what you stand for and stand up for it set healthy boundaries you guys feel joy in all that you do wow going back to childhood and being free and being happy going back to that place within the sun your joy your youth you know abundance is your right so just know that a lot of us are supposed to be experiencing a full abundant life and this is what the highest divine wants from us this is what you know, our the highest source of power, energy, wants for us to come here to experience, experience this form of abundance, you know, experience this. Um, you can tell people stories, but if you don't experience it, it's just a, it's a different thing. So they want you to be able to experience abundance, and this is your right before you were even born, okay? Forgive yourself. For everything that you have taken part in, everything that you have said, and forgive this person too. Um, understand your body. A lot of you are stressed out, sick, depressed, and I feel like it's because of the energy that is around you. Again, you are holding up a lot of responsibilities. <sighs> You're looking at this person as a disappointment. You're trying to heal. And it's just really making you ill. So listen to your body and know that there's people watching you and depend on you. And sometimes it's like I'm hearing it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to be 
you know, upfront and honest, Gemini. Okay. Wow, your last card. You are here for a reason. So you feel tired. You feel like, you know, why am I here? And I feel like a lot of you have been asking this. You don't understand your purpose. You don't understand why you're here. And I feel like from my experience, I should tell you to go back to a childhood memory and remember like if you're having problems figuring out why you're here just remember all the patterns in life that led you through up to this point from your childhood to now like what was consistent what was you trying to do if you are trying to be in a relationship and trying to be for females females out there a wife a mother then you're here to give love you're here to you know be that energy of beacon of love for others so you want to give love you want to experience love right so you're here to love you're here to show love and that goes for the men out there too that you're trying to find you know that perfect partnership you're trying to find f great friends you know that means you're here to show not to just receive but to show people what a good friend is like to show people what a good partnership is like. That's the message that you're supposed to be. Sometimes it's just that simple, you guys, what your purpose is. And once you find out what your purpose is, then you can try to use that and fulfill, use that and try to fulfill your life, you know, doing other things that is going to benefit that in some way, you know? If you're here to spread love, you don't have to be in a relationship to spread it, right? You can, you know, just make, go out there into the world and make people have a smile on their face by just opening the door for someone saying, hey, you know, uh, you're having problems. What, what do you need a dollar? I got it. No worries. You know, God bless. You know, just be that beacon of hope. Like nice people are actually still out there. And this is what the, the universe is saying. Like you, you're not alone. You're here for a reason. You are here for a reason. You just don't remember the purpose of your reason because you need to figure that out in this life. But this is what I have for you, gems. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in your next read. Bye, guys.